it's not a rational state of being. I was I was really under stress and sleep deprived and um, we reckon he was also drugging us. I've never had the effect with alcohol before or since, but when I was with him, I would, you know, if I had a drink, you know, I'd wake up the next morning, I couldn't remember what happened at night. What were the first clues that my husband was psychopathic? Um, I had no clue. I had no clue that he was a psychopath whilst I was with him and whilst I had the relationship with him. Uh, it wasn't until I got a phone call from my husband's other wife and she told me that not only was she married to him, but she had five children to him and she'd been married to him 10 years longer than me, um, that her nanny had two children to him, that uh, he had several children to various other people and had numerous affairs. Um, even then I didn't know that he was a psychopath. Um, it wasn't until I started digging around trying to find out some information and I started looking for words on the internet that would explain my husband's behaviour and I came across a few websites and came across the term sociopath first and then psychopath and I started to look into it and I actually checked out Dr Robert Hare's PCLR and question after question that I went down he was scoring two out of two um, and when I did the, the PCLR on my husband, I reckon he caused, scores 40 out of 40 on the PCLR. So I had no clue whilst I was with him. There was nothing that said uh, that he was a psychopath. He came across as a genuine, honest, kind, loving, um, genuine person. It wasn't like he, he came across as, uh, as anything other than a loving husband. Um, all of the things that were going wrong in our lives and all the things that were happening to me and the, the fear I was living in, wasn't fear of him, it was fear of the people he told me were after us. So yeah, that's that's how I found out my husband was a psychopath, it was after the relationship was over. <laughs>